Dodsworth, a 1936 film, unfolds a compelling narrative that beckons viewers to delve into the intricacies of love, life, and self-discovery. The storyline weaves through the lives of its characters, offering a timeless exploration of human relationships. As you watch, keep an eye out for moments that might leave you laughing, shocked, or even contemplative. Have you ever found yourself pondering a particular scene from this cinematic gem, one that etched itself into your memory? Perhaps a classic Hollywood actor stood out as your favorite amidst the unfolding drama. The movie's richness lies not just in its plot, but in the nuanced performances that bring it to life. Before you go, we're eager to hear about your most cherished memories or personal experiences tied to this film. What resonated with you and what emotions did it stir? Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. There's a trove of funny, shocking, and sad facts waiting to be uncovered. Keep watching and let the conversation begin. Dodsworth is often regarded as a forgotten classic, possibly overshadowed would by its age and the absence of action-packed sequences. A poignant drama revolving around a failing marriage, its roots lie in Sinclair Lewis's novel, skillfully adapted for Broadway by Sidney Howard. Despite originating from the stage, the film seamlessly transitions to the cinematic realm under the direction of William Wyler. The standout performances by the cast, particularly Walter Houston, contribute to the film's timeless quality. He, who also portrayed the role on Broadway, demonstrates a rare ability to navigate between theatrical grandeur and subtle on-screen nuances. Unlike modern counterparts wielding swords or enduring gunfights, he excels in bringing ordinary moments to life, infusing each gesture and glance with authenticity. Some might find its pacing slow or label it as uneventful, missing the point that it serves as a master class in exceptional acting. The adaptation, though based on a lengthy novel, successfully sheds its stage origins, thanks in part to Sidney Howard's adept screenplay. The narrative, mature and intelligently handled, receives impeccable direction from William Wyler. While discussions about potential remakes have surfaced, the movie's sophistication might be at risk in the current cinematic landscape. Its enduring quality lies in nuanced storytelling, free from the excessive nudity and strong language that might be added to a modern script. Perhaps it's best to let this cinematic gem remain untouched, allowing it to reach a broader audience that it deserves beyond the limited recognition it has received in the 68 years since its release. In conclusion, Dodsworth stands as a testament to the artistry of its era, showcasing exceptional performances and intelligent storytelling. Its exploration of a faltering marriage remains relevant, proving that the mastery of Walter Houston and the direction of William Wyler transcend time. A film deserving of wider recognition, it captures the essence of genuine, compelling cinema. In 1936, William Wyler and Ruth Chatterton, the key players in the film, grappled daily over the character Fran's portrayal. Battling her own insecurities at 43, Chatterton advocated for a villainous portrayal, while Wyler sought a more sympathetic angle. Chatterton's fading stardom and age-induced desperation fueled tension on set, evident in her haughty demeanor. Clashes between them peaked when she slapped him and retreated to her dressing room, highlighting the intensity of their discord. In 1995, Milo's foreman revealed plans for a remake with Harrison Ford as the lead post his film, The People vs. Larry Flint. This initiative showcased the enduring impact of the movie resonating years later in the industry. The film marked milestones for producer Samuel Goldwyn, director William Wyler, and actors Walter Houston and Maria Ospenskaya, earning them their inaugural Academy Award nominations. Its critical success set the stage for their future accomplishments in the realm of cinema. This cinematic journey, marred by behind-the-scenes conflicts and illuminated by recognition, stands as a testament to the complexities within the movie-making process. Its legacy endures, shaping the careers of those involved, leaving an indelible mark on film history. In 1936, Dodsworth secured its place among the top 20 box office hits of the year. Its impact extended beyond the screen, influencing renowned actress Mary Astor's portrayal of Edith Cortright. In her memoirs, Astor revealed that she drew from personal struggles, channeling the turmoil of her recent public child custody, hearing into the character. Director William Wyler's meticulous approach is evident in the film, notably during a sequence where Fran, played by Ruth Chatterton, burns a letter from her husband. He dedicated an entire afternoon to capture the moment with precision. 
The subtle details, such as the letter gently blowing along the terrace, pausing briefly, and then fluttering as the scene fades to black, served as a metaphor for Fran and Sam's deteriorating marriage. These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the careful craftsmanship woven into the narrative. From Astra's personal connection to the character to Weiler's methodical direction, the movie emerges as a compelling exploration of human relationships and societal challenges. Dodsworth's enduring relevance is underscored by its ability to resonate with both its audience and the industry. The seamless integration of personal struggles into the narrative and Weiler's attention to detail exemplify the complexities within the filmmaking process. As the film continues to leave its mark on history, it stands as a testament to the powerful interplay between personal experiences and cinematic artistry. Dodsworth, a film of enduring significance, earned its place in the National Film Registry at the Library of Congress in 1990, solidifying its impact on cinematic history. Notably, it marked Ruth Chatterton's final appearance in an American film, concluding her illustrious career in the industry. Additionally, the movie served as the film debut for John Payne, marking the beginning of his journey in the world of cinema. The National Film Registry recognition in 1990 reflects Dodsworth's lasting influence on American culture and storytelling. Chatterton's farewell performance and Payne's debut contribute to the film's historical relevance, making it a noteworthy piece in the tapestry of cinema. David Neven, reflecting on his collaboration with William Wyler, described the director as a challenging figure, oscillating between kindness and tyranny. Despite Wyler's unfavorable view of Neven's acting prowess, he found the actor fitting for the role of Captain Lockhart, a charming cad in the film. In the mid-1950s, MGM contemplated a remake featuring Gregory Peck, Elizabeth Taylor, and Grace Kelly, with Julius J. Epstein adapting. Scheduling conflicts thwarted the plan, leading to its abandonment. While Dodsworth was entirely filmed in studios, Wyler dispatched a camera crew to various European cities for background shots. Despite Wyler's meticulous instructions and personal familiarity with the locales, some shots were omitted in the final cut to prevent the film from resembling a travelogue, retaining only those crucial to the narrative. Such behind-the-scenes dynamics and unrealized remakes underscore the intricacies of Donsworth's production, revealing the challenges and decisions shaping its cinematic journey. Set against the backdrop of the arms Queen Mary, the iconic ocean liner sailed into cinematic history alongside Dodsworth's 1936 premiere just four months after her maiden voyage. Known as the Grey Ghost, she played a crucial role in wartime, transporting troops and war brides during World War II, and later found her home as a tourist attraction in Long Beach. Now a floating museum, the Queen Mary stands as a living testament to the golden age of ocean liners. Anticipation for the Bishop's Light in the movie is not mere fiction. It refers to the lighthouse on Bishop Rock, the world's smallest island with a structure. Situated off Cornwall's coast, it adds a subtle yet distinctive layer to the narrative, echoing the protagonist yearning for simplicity in the face of life's complexities. Behind the lens of Dodsworth, director William Wyler and Ruth Chatterton grappled over the portrayal of Mrs. Dodsworth. Wyler sought nuance, challenging a black and white depiction, while Chatterton, reflecting her character's struggle, clung to a more straightforward portrayal. Their clashes, mirrored on screen tensions, culminated in a memorable dressing room retreat, echoing the movie's themes. Mary Astor's memoirs reveal that Chatterton's character hit close to home, reflecting the actress's own battle with aging and the passage of time. In the annals of the movie's production, Wyler's meticulousness shines through. He demanded subtleties, enduring on set clashes for the sake of character depth. The enduring resonance of the film lies in these intricacies, from the historical context of the ship to the subtleties demanded by its director and acted out by its cast. Dodsworth, anchored in real-world connections and cinematic craft, cements its place in the cinematic tapestry.